Hey, hi. How are you? Hello. I'm I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm also good. Thank you. So I got your profile for evaluation, and this evaluation is going to be based on your coding skill, not especially on Java X. So let us uh, try uh, with the first question. So I have a hospital, and in that hospital there are some corona patients as well as there are some other patients which are suffering from different diseases. So you have to find the list of all the patients who are suffering from the corona. Okay, I have provided you a list of patients uh, along with different diseases. Mm -hmm. So you can check your chat box and you can use that list. Okay, all right. Uh, so I can see there is a list and there is a patient object. So I'll start with uh, the patient class. I'll start creating uh, the patient class. And I see in the chat box there are uh, four fields out of which uh, the first is the patient name. So I'm going to create private string name. Then there is age of the patient, uh, private int age okay and then i can see there is a uh, private uh, string uh, disease name okay and uh, finally uh, there is uh, there is there is integer amount that the bill bill amount that he paid okay now uh, yes correct uh, all right perfect so i'm going to create uh, getters and setters for this uh, before that i'm going to create constructor with field so this is the constructor. Let me create the constructor. All right. So this is the constructor with fields. I also want uh, the default constructor. So I'm going to create the default constructor as well. And I'm going to remove all the fields. And I, I'm not going to uh, assign any values. So this is going to be my uh, default constructor. And then I also want uh, getters and setters for all these fields, so getters and setters, I'm going to select all, and then I'm going to create a getters and setters. And finally, I'm going to create a two string method, including all the fields. So let's try to generate two string method with a name of the patient, age, disease, and amount. So this is uh, the two string method. Let me create two string. Okay. So two string is also uh, created. Now I'll I'll try to copy the list that you already sent to me. So I see there are four patient objects. Uh, P1, P2, P3, and P4, where the first is your patient name, the second is your age, uh, the third is the disease, uh, and the fourth is your bill paid. Okay, perfect. Now. Uh, what what you want to um as can you repeat the problem statement uh, once again? Yeah, so you have to find out the list of all the patients who mm -hmm. are suffering from corona and paint it. Okay, so I'll try to create a list list of patient. Okay, a list of patients, and I'll give the name as um, patients equal to rs dot uh, as list and i'm going to add uh, p1 p2 uh, p3 and uh, p4 so this will give me the list of patients who are uh, admitted in the hospital at this stage and now i'll try to get uh, the stream out of out of patients so patients dot stream and uh, as there are multiple patients who are suffering from corona and there is also one patient suffering from fever so i don't want to uh, include the patient who is suffering from fever so that is the reason i'm going to use um, a filter and i'm going to uh, do the filtering on a uh, disease so i'll take get disease dot uh, equals and uh, this is going to be uh, corona Okay, so this will uh, give me the uh, list of patient, but I want to print each patient. So I'm going to utilize uh, the mechanism known as for each. 
and I'm going to use um, system dot out. All right, and I'm going to uh, use the method reference to call println method. Okay, so uh, this will filter based on the disease and uh, then it will uh, print each element using for each. Okay. I'll, you can print it. I'll run the um, program and here there are three patients, P1, P3 and P4 who are suffering from Corona. Okay. Now I have to again filter out this list based on their age. So you have to find out patients whose age is less than 25. Okay, uh, so as I can see, uh, there are three patients suffering from Corona, 20, 29, and 23. So this uh, a P4 shouldn't be there, which is 29. So it should be less than uh, 25. All right, so I'll add one more condition. Um, and P dot get age uh, should be less than or less than or equal to 25. Yeah, you can make it less than 25. Yeah, that is fine. Okay, so I'll make it less than 25 to be to be clear. Okay, so let me um, run this program. Oh, I see two records, one with uh, 20 and one with 23. So the patient with age 29 is, is not in the list. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to find the average bill. Mm -hmm. to three each corona patient. So if there is a bill of 40,000 for four patients, then the average bill should be 10,000 per patient. So you have to print the average bill as a 10,000. So you can consider all the corona patients which are available in your list. Okay. All right. All right. So all the corona patients, that means uh, this filter criteria will go away. And uh, now we don't want to print the... Uh, print each, each patient, but we want to find the average bill paid by the corona patient. So I'm going to um, use collect method. So within, within collect, uh, there is something called as collectors. So I'm going to utilize that. I'll take this uh, to the next line. Okay. So I'll use collectors. Uh, in collectors, there is a convenience method known as Average doubling. So I'm going to utilize that method, average uh, doubling. Average doubling method takes the property of, of which you want to do the average. So I want uh, the amount property. So there is a patient class and within that uh, get amount. So this is the field on which I want to uh, do the averaging. And the return type of average is uh, your double because uh, double is the best suited data type for averaging. And this is the average um, bill paid by Corona patient. So this is going to be my average bill. Let's try to print this. So I'm going to do uh, sys out. Sys out and I'm going to uh, print average bill paid. And this is going to be my average bill paid. Okay. All right. So based on this, the average should be, let's try to run the program. Average bill paid is uh, 12,666 for the corona patient. So it, it took the sum of all the uh, bills paid for corona patient and divided it by the number of corona patients. Okay, perfect. That's it from my side. Thank you. Do you have any question? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.